one bank to talk to another bank, and then you depend on the underwriting from that particular bank to approve the file, to work on the conditions of your file, or eventually deny the file because they didn't like something. So you really have no control over a file. Okay. With a mortgage banker like myself, we underwrite the file ourselves with all our underwriters. Like my underwriter is down the hall for me. I could always walk down, down the hall and go over a particular scenario. It gives you a lot more leeway and a lot more understanding of what can and can't be done. Okay. So we underwrite, we process the file ourselves, but we do it to the guidelines of other investors. Meaning, if a person walks into a bank today to to a bank that they use checking and savings with. If a person does that, then you're stuck to the guidelines of that particular bank. Okay. And your file's probably being underwritten somewhere in Ohio or somewhere in a remote location and you're nothing just nothing but another file. We take the approach of, we have 33, 34 different investment investors, hedge funds, banks, Wall Street, whoever secondary is. They all have guidelines that conform to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac where they have their own guidelines if it's a jumbo loan. And we fit this particular file to the guidelines of that particular investor. Okay. And this gives a lot more flexibility, a lot more options, and a lot more rates than you would as if you were as a, a typical bank like Chase or Wells Fargo. Correct. 